Shannon Sharp broke the internet again. So the first time he broke the internet, well, he's been breaking it before then, but the first official time when people like noticed him from all areas, I feel like, of America, was when he did the Cat Williams interview a couple weeks ago. It's sitting at 57 million views right now, but Cat Williams done interviewed Monique. If you don't know Monique, she was the mother on the Parkers. Funny cool individual but she like cat williams told it all she didn't spare nobody she tried to spare people but when shannon mentioned them she went on and told her what she felt about them, told her story about them, and it was interesting with me because many people are saying shannon sharp show is taking the drama spin he the new Wendy Williams and some more stuff, more stuff. That was what D.L. Hoogley said. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a waist set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if I had as been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It's, it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. My thing is, this man ain't starting the drama. He bringing people on here so they can have a voice. Nobody was listening to Monique Parker, when she was telling people Hollywood was blackballing her, not paying her what she wanted to get, what she needed to get paid, what she deserved to get paid. Let's say that. Not taking it and not even taking anything away from um, Amy Schumer. No. Um, and I don't think that's what necessarily no. you're doing. Please you let just, me be clear. Yeah, be clear. Okay. Sister Amy Schumer supposed to get what she gets. Okay. If that's what her people negotiated, that's what she's supposed to get. By no means am I saying, no, I'm against Amy Schumer. No, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. If that's what they negotiated, then that's what she's supposed to get. Yeah. What we're saying is, how come I'm twelve and a half million dollars? different than Amy Schumer, mm -hmm. 19 and a half million dollars, different than Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. And the world was up in arms when they found out our sister Michelle Williams yeah. got a thousand dollars to Mark Wahlberg's one point five million dollars. Mm -hmm. Not taking it. They weren't paying her right. So when she came on this show and said, man, look what Taraji was saying. Taraji is not saying what I was saying. But y'all weren't listening to me because I was the fat black girl crying about it is she lying she ain't lying and you know how i knew she wasn't lying about dl hugley actually he confirmed she wasn't lying he just said the show never aired she wasn't lying she told the truth she doing exactly what cat williams did but this is how i knew because that nigga dl hugley responded like that instantaneously he responded right away to monique parker talking about the uh would you have sex with this person to have you know would you let your husband have sex whatever the question was it was kind of immature if i'm in that space that environment we making movies we doing that type of thing why is this a part of y'all segment like what, what i'm i'd have been like what is this bro like a real one would have been like that but i guess the way dl ugly set up is yeah, he goofy. He been got exposed. He a goofy. He a clown. I, I really, I, I really don't mess with him. I don't know. He was not that funny. He was funny on that joke we just said about Monique 
like you doing crunches. The only crunch you doing is Captain Crunch. That was kind of funny. I won't lie. That was kind of funny. But other than that, he's not funny to me, man. He he's he's a clown. He's a clown. Everybody know that, man. He ain't a funny guy. But Monique Parker done broke the internet. Shannon Sharp has done it again. But Shannon Sharp is facing backlash from a lot of different media sources, a lot of different people. But if I'm Shannon Sharp, I'm not here, y'all. I got the blinders on. In one in 14 hours, you had 2.8 million views. You know she finna hit about 5 million views on his channel. Easy. Them little clips he put on Instagram are some of the smartest things he's been doing. And dropping the full interview is what people are learning. Most interviews are most interviewers are starting to drop the whole video and not dropping so many clips. Only person I know still dropping a million clips is DJ Vladimir. <laughs> He's dropping part 23. But we had to come on here and talk about the whole Monique Parker. She didn't she didn't spare nobody. She she went in on Kevin Hart, said Kevin Hart was telling her he's like she's like a aunt like a mother you know like that type of role model figure if you don't know monique was in soul playing with kevin hart that was his first big break movie she was in there with him she had already established herself and after that he took off shot off after that and i guess he never looked back man but she did congratulate him on giving her that check and she gave it back she said with some interest Next person we gotta say is Shaq. She went in on Shaq. And recently, we've been having on No Jumper, just just thinking about it, the dude came on No Jumper and said he was having a whole affair with Shaq's wife while Shaq was with her. And if I'm listening to this, I'm not finna listen to no nigga who, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could happen to anybody, but you got that much money and your lady still you know what I'm saying? She know you in doing all that. You shouldn't even have no say so. If you don't know what's going on, Shaq basically said, never open up to your woman. She go use it against you when you get into an argument. Like, come on, folk. Like Monique said, like many other people said, that's your, that's your right here and that's your backbone. If you really in that type of relationship, why can't you open up to her? And if she uses it against you, she just uses it against you, man. Are you that embarrassed about it that you can't live up to what you did? Like, I don't know, man. Me personally, I'm not that type of person. Like, if the shit happened, I did it. It's done. It's in the past. I did it. All that don't open up to your wife shit, I wouldn't believe that either. But make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all haven't been hitting that subscribe button. Y'all haven't been commenting. We started a whole new YouTube with just straight vlogs. We go... Added some videos from our Miami trip, and we're going to get back to that. But we had to dive into Monique Parker in this Shay Shay interview. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. And that YouTube, my other YouTube is the life of Mohit, y'all. Go hit that subscribe button on that. But, like I said, man, that interview set the internet on fire, man. It's going up right now. Hit that subscribe button. Lock in with us. You won't miss no content, but we gone.